Hi, uh, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for Virginia, uh, who calls herself Gina. Uh, have you ever um, fallen in love? Um, have you ever uh, been going through the process of falling in love, Gina? Um, I'm sure you have, um, but I'm not sure uh, if you have. Um, the process of falling in love is just beautiful. Um, and it's, it's uh, such a new way, it's such a new way to explore. It makes your heart flutter, it makes you nervous, it makes you insecure. Um, the same emotions can all be found in pursuing a relationship with God, the God of the universe. And um, you can feel insecure, you can feel that you're not worthy, you can feel nervous in his presence. But he's your creator, it's just like, um, just like uh, uh, a little boy finding his teddy bear. He, he uh, gets a big smile on his face and grabs his teddy bear and puts it in his face and holds on to it. And it's precious, you know, even if the teddy bear has been missing for a year when He's shown a teddy bear, the little boy will smile and pick it up and put it to his chest and really be happy. Well, you're that little teddy bear to God. Uh, he finds you very precious. And uh, just like a little boy will instantly um, pick up his teddy bear and have a smile and happiness, um, your father is, is really happy with you. And uh, you don't have to do anything to impress him. It's the teddy bear just has to be. The teddy bear just has to be there. The teddy bear doesn't have to do anything. And similarly, um, you've, you've got this uh, concept that you've got to do everything right and uh, have all your uh, dots uh, dotted and all your T's crossed. And you, you sort of come from... Um, uh, uh, a background that they call legalistic where an angry God needs this and he needs this and you've got to be like this and you've been, uh, well, we've been working on that with you to break that sort of thought pattern off. you just got to be, Gina. you you just got to be. you just got to be you and God is so rapturously, uh, rapturously uh, in love with you. Just like... Um, just like a father um, loves his young daughter, uh, winning an award, uh, getting a gold medal. He, the father will even put a picture of his daughter's um, medal ceremony uh, on his desk in his workplace, in his corporate office, you know, where he's running multi-million dollar deals. He'll have a picture of his daughter in his office and people doing business deals and executives will uh, comment on the picture and say what's that about do you know this may surprise you and may be a little difficult uh, for you to comprehend but do you know God boasts about his relationship with you um, people come into his office and see a picture of you and uh, and uh, they don't know, not everyone in heaven ha has an awareness of everyone on earth. And when they see your picture uh, in his office, they, they inquire, uh, who is this person? And uh, God loves so many things about you. Um, he, he loves your quirky sense of humor. It's, uh, it's a sense of humor that's really di different. Um, he, he loves uh, the dryness in your sense of humour. Um, uh, he, he loves your spontaneity where, where he can just impress or an angel uh, can just impress something on you and straight away you're doing it. Um, he loves your obedience when you're aware that he's leading you to do something. Um, he loves how you don't procrastinate and argue against it, but you just step up to the plate and obey. It's like um, every task he gives you is like 
um, stepping out to the plate to hit a home run. Um, you just continue to go out and take shots. And um, rather than being a champion uh, baseballer that, that the fans adore, uh, you're just like a private little baseball player for God. It's just like him in the audience. Yeah. But it's actually him that's the pitcher, uh, that's throwing you the balls to obey. It's him in the audience and it's in him in the team playing with you, um, trying to get you out. Um, God wants to, and it's not as though he isn't, but God wants to be involved in every step, every part, every dimension of your life. Um, he, it, to, to explain things sexually, it's like he wants to ravish your body. Um, and uh, just like a lover will ravish the body of, of, of the lover. And it's not a, a lustful thing. It's uh, that, that the lover just wants to be in oneness with, with his lover. Um, uh, I sense that uh, the Spirit of God, uh, God himself, just wants to ravish you. He just wants to kiss you all over. And um, I, I know that's uh, intimate, but... Your spirit needs to hear this. You need to, you need to hear this, and you need to replay it. And um, it's got to, you, you got to hear the truth now, because you've been hearing lies for so long that you got to measure up, and you've got to be holy, and you've got to be this, and you've got to be that. You don't got to be anything, Gina. You just be you. You're just the teddy bear. Uh, Jesus sees you. God sees you as the teddy bear. And he just wants to pick you up and hug you to his chest. He doesn't want words. He doesn't need your worship. He doesn't need your prayers. He, he just needs you to let him pick you up. He, he wants to embrace you. And uh, Matthew uh, started a relationship with a girl in the spirit. And, um, and she's been hurt and broken all her life. And, um, Getting to know Matthew is scary for her because she doesn't feel worthy. And um, it takes a lot of nurturing and it takes a, a lot of repeating. And uh, Matthew's got to treat her uh, really in a loving uh, and understanding and patient way. And God is the same as Matthew. He, he, um, He's loving and he's nurturing and he's patient. And even if you have to get one of these prophecies uh, once a month for a year, for instance, and Matthew doesn't do, um, this is uh, his friend talking through him. Uh, Matthew doesn't encourage people to get monthly prophecies because he doesn't like anyone dependent on him. People should go to God themselves. But um, in this instance, he gave an exception, and um, if if asked, he can give like a prophecy once a month. And um, I encourage you personally to to request one because you know you hear the lie ten thousand times, um, so you need to hear the truth often, and you can be sure um, every time um, you request a prophecy, God will be saying the right thing to you and what you need to hear. And heaven really appreciates you. You really, uh, God has got an office uh, in heaven and uh, you're really a picture frame. You, your, your picture is in his office and uh, you really are his teddy bear. And uh, he, he can't wait and, and until your tears flow. He, he can't wait until... He can feel you against his chest. He, he can't wait until you're happy to be picked up. And uh, So let him pick you up today, um, even if uh, this prophecy brings tears. Um, listen to this prophecy again and cry the tears because God, he, he, he really loves you. And uh, he's got a purpose for you. and He's got things he wants you to do for him in the future and big things. And uh, we could have gone into 
the bigger things that he wants to do in the future. But you've heard other prophecies in the past and you, you know some of the things you're going to do in the future. That's not important. What's important is um, you become God's teddy bear and you become pliable in his hands. And we've got to um, push down this false teaching and this uh, false understanding that uh, you got to do all these jump all these hoops to make God happy. Uh, I, I pray that this has helped you and blessed you, and I hope that uh, you can write and give Matthew some feedback. God bless.